Hello, I am Susan Hadniak. Today I'm going to show you how you can take a simple line drawing through the scan and cut and convert it to an applique file. So let's get started. At our scan and cut. Now I'm going to use the scanning mat for my project to put the design into the machine. So I have chosen a very simple drawing for a um, dump truck. So you simply lift your vellum sheet, stick your drawing underneath. Now this could be something you hand draw, something you get off the internet. Um, there's many, many ways you can get a drawing. So I've loaded it in. And instead of going to patterns, I need to create this design. So I'm going to go to scan, scan to cut data. So it's going to scan it, save it, and then later I can cut it. So when you do the scan to cut data, you'll see there's a, re excuse me, an area recognition mode. Uh, right now it's in black and white. I do have a black and white picture, so that's fine. But if you had a colored picture, you simply tap the wrench and then you would change it to the color mode. So I'm going to leave mine at the black and white and we're going to start. Now it's telling me, because I have the SDX225, that I need to lower my lever, which is over here. Lower it down and what that does is it brings it down closer to the picture so the camera can get a better view. So I'm going to start. I'm going to give that a minute and let that scan through. Okay, we'll give it a minute to recognize what it is, what I've scanned in. And then it's going to ask you some options. It wants to know if you'd like to do an outline or if you'd like to do an area recognition. Because this has the window, the wheels, and various parts on the inside, I need to do an area recognition. So I'm going to tell the machine that that's what I want it to process. You'll see that it is such a great camera in here that it also picked up the edge of my paper so I really don't want that, so I can simply pull my arrows up to get rid of that because any black line is a cutting line. So I'm going to say I like that. We're going to preview it again. Done. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to save it. You can save it to various places. This time I'm going to save it to my machine because I want to cut it out with fabric. And we're going to say OK. Now, we're done with our scanning mat and our drawing, so I'm going to unload. And it's OK to unload. Now, to retrieve that design for cutting now, I'm going to go home, my home button, and it's OK to clear the screen. It's not deleting the pattern because I've saved it. I'm going to go to Retrieve Data back to my machine and go to the last page because that's where it's at. There it is. Right now it's sitting over still in my memory so I want to bring it over to my editing screen because I want to separate out some of the parts of the truck because I want to cut them on different fabrics. So one of the things you have to understand with drawings when you scan them in Sometimes they move independently, and what I mean by that is, see if I move the wheel, the little inside of the wheel is still there. So I'm going to show you how you can group them together so it doesn't do that again. Okay, I've brought you closer to the screen so you can really get a good shot on what I'm doing here. Now you notice I moved the wheel away and I want to put it back. So if I go into my edit, there's a back button and it will take me back to my last 
step that I did. So I want to group some of these as I said. So in order to do that you go to the select button and this one does the area on the map and that does the items, the designs. See how they're all in red? Well, I want to do, it's so close together that I'm going to choose the select the areas on the mat. So I'm going to reduce it down the area that I want it to recognize. If I can get this to pick up, there we go. I want it to do just the wheel. So I'm going to say OK. And you'll see there's two red squares around the wheel. That's what I want to group together. So they move together. I'm going to say OK. Object Edit. Right here is your grouping. So now you'll see there's a red square around the entire wheel, which now allows me to pull that away as a group. So I'm going to do that to all the items that I need grouped. So again, we're going back to the Select button. Now I want to deselect that wheel because that's completed. I'm going to pick again my area on my mat. Seems I have trouble with that one corner. And I'm going to reduce it down now to the other wheel. So again, there's two squares around, red squares around the area I want to group. Object Edit, Group. One red square. That's perfect. So I'm going to now pull, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So again, I'm going to do my back button. So now I'm going to use these buttons because obviously it's getting so close I can't pick it up with my stylus. So these buttons allow you to hop around the design till you get to the one you want. And that's the one, oops, and again I did it again. So let's go back. I'm going to let the machine move that one out of the way. Because obviously I'm picking up the wrong part of the design. So this part, well, let's let the machine do it again. Oops, now you see I picked up a teeny tiny little speck from my, when I scanned it in, I didn't even know that was there. I don't want that because it's going to actually cut that teeny tiny little mark. So I'm going to right now get rid of that. It's okay to delete that. That part is all one unit. So I don't need to group that. I'm just going to get that out of the way. And then what's left is the body of the truck. So I'm going to go up. That's the part I now need to group because that little window is separate design from the body. And you'll see again I'm going to select part of the mat and take it up. And there's the two parts. So I'm going to say OK, Object Edit, Group. So now I have all my parts grouped the way I'd like them. So what I generally do is go back and save it again. Even though I've saved it after the scanning of the paper, I want to save this so I don't have to go through all that grouping again. To save it back to the machine. Yes, it includes things that I've grouped. That's okay. Now, do you want to overwrite or make a new one? I'm going to overwrite it because I don't need to save the one that's not grouped. And it saves space on your machine. Okay, so while that's saving, we're now going to load in our fabric. Okay. I've loaded my fabric onto a cutting mat. I'm using a standard mat. And did you know that you can put multiple pieces of fabric down and cut your entire design in one cut? And I'm going to show you how we do that. So let's get this loaded. And I'll show you how you can drag and drop the design over the desired fabric. Okay, we've loaded our mat. Here is a close-up of our screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. This button here is the scanning button and it allows me to 
find where the fabric is on my cutting mat. So I simply tap that and I start the scan. Okay, you can see now my fabric on my on my scanning mat. My I'm sorry, my cutting mat. So it happens that the wheels are about right where I want them. So I'm going to try to pick them up. I'm going to let the machine pick them up. It's a little bit easier sometimes. And I'm going to move them over top of my fabric. Now I can do this with my stylus if I'm able to pick it up, which I don't seem to can't I can't seem to do it. And I'm going to go to the next one. And you simply just move it on top of the color that you want. Now I want the body of the truck to be yellow, so I'm going to move that one out of the way. And I'm going to bring this one down. And then move this one over to the lighter dark black fabric. Okay, so I like the way that is. And we can simply go all the way out until we see the please select, cut, and I want to make sure my half cut is off. I was working with vinyl before. Everything else looks good. You can do a test cut if you want. I know my machine. I know the fabric. I've done this a lot, so I don't need to do my test cut. I'm just going to go right to the start. And that's going to take, it defaults to a minute. It might be less. So we're going to let that cut out. It has finished cutting, so I'm going to unload my mat, and I'll show you my design. Helps if I get the paper as well. Boy, I really put this down well, didn't I? There's the top part of my truck. I don't know what area they call that. I'm not an expert on trucks. Here is the body and the wheel. And there are inside parts to that wheel. There's my wheel. And then there's a window here that has to come out as well. Voila! Okay, at this point, I'm going to turn this project over to Jess, and she's going to take it to the next step.